Feiyu Tech sent over their latest Scorp gimbal for me to check out. Thank you, Feiyu Tech. I've been using it for about a month or so, shot some real estate, got some test shots with Vanessa. I've owned a few Feiyu Tech gimbals before in the past. I had the AK4500, which I think I remember liking. I had the Feiyu Tech King with a Q. That was, that was a weird... I was a weird little machine. I think it was more of an experimental thing. This is the AK2000S, which I still use to this day. It's small, it's lightweight, and it holds a decent amount of weight. I'm able to fly my FX3 with a 14 mil Samyang lens on the front that I use for real estate. And now we have the Scorp. I guess because it looks like a scorpion. Oh yeah, that's there's a little picture of a scorpion right there. I didn't even notice that till just now. And they even gave you some nice little tripod legs in case you're working without the bottom handle, which I never really do. I kind of always have this on the bottom of any gimbal I'm using, but just in case you're not and you want to set it down, you don't want to lay it down on its side, you still have this option right there. So it can rest. Oh my God. I am flirting with danger. I feel like I could put a bar stool on top of this right now. With a bartender. That is three models of the Scorp. There's the Scorp C, there's the Scorp, and then there's the Scorp Pro. The Pro has the biggest payload, I believe. I'm not sure what the specs are on it. I'm kind of just going off the top here and talking about my experience with the Scorp. Cut me a goddamn break. So the Scorp Pro will hold your bigger rig, something like an Ari Alexa or uh, Ari Alexis. This is the B model, basically. This is the mid-tier model, and we do get a nice little touch screen on the back here. And then the Scorp C is, I believe, the same setup as the Scorp. It just doesn't have a touch screen. So I got the mid-tier, perfect for me. This is the Canon ESR with the 24 to 70 on it. And I am able to extend this all the way out to 70 and still maintain my balance. So there's plenty of power in the Scorp C if you're just using something like a handheld mirrorless camera. So the sole purpose for gimbals, both old and new, is to stabilize your camera and sometimes even stabilize it. Um, might as well just head outside right now, grab Vanessa and Test out how well it stabilizes and stabilizes. Babe! <laughs> so like I said before, we do have a touch screen on the back, which is really great. It's pretty responsive, easy to understand. Press this if you want to do this. Swipe this way to get backwards. There's a lot of swiping backwards. They tried to go to smartphone route with it, and I'm cool with it. The app works pretty well. I haven't had any hangups on it or anything like that. It connected almost immediately. Now this is pretty standard in most gimbals, but I feel like it's still worth mentioning it. The locks on this are very, very smooth. Like, like they feel premium. The locks on the AK2000S, not, they're a little more clicky. These are like, these feel like a solid lock and it just right in there. There's a lot of buttons on this gimbal and for the most part, I like them all. You have an FPV button, you have your normal traditional trigger on the front, you have your wheel, which I'll come back to in a second. You have an A and B button here and you have an F1 and F2 button here, as well as a little button here in the front that allows you to switch between pan mode, tilt mode, and pan mode. Pan, tilt, and roll, which is great, but this wheel is really made for right-handers. A lot of gimbals are catered to right-handers and they're just like, screw the lefties. Well, I'm left-handed, so my strong arm is my left hand, which means I'd like to be able to fly the gimbal with my left hand and have the wheel on the right side. Now, it's not just Feiyu Tech. I have yet to experience this from any gimbal maker. So what I would like to see, I'd like to see some innovation 
from Feutech. Guys, I'm calling you guys out. Come up with a wheel that's modular. You know how the Insta360 1R, they kind of lock into each other and you could see the electronics on the inside and they kind of just insert in one another and it doesn't matter if it's forward or backwards, they just work. Well, I'm gonna be able to pull this wheel out, flip it around and put it back in and then have it on the right side if I'm left-handed. And I do use the wheel all the time during weddings, real estate shoots. So I'll come in through the front door and then I'll kind of tilt up towards the ceiling to get a nice shot of it and highlight it. And I've kind of gotten used to just doing it with my pointer finger, which is probably not the most reliable way of doing it, but it works for me. Just pop it off, flip it over, pop it back in, and now I have the wheel on the right side. So feel free to steal that. Just make sure you send me an early copy of it. Thank you very much, Feutech, since I gave you the idea. Let's make it happen, Captain. I mentioned shooting real estate with the Feutech Scorp, and I actually shot a property the other day, so let's take a look at it. Now, I'm not going to show you guys the outside, number one, because it was all shot with the DJI Air 2S drone. And number two, you know, maybe the homeowners don't want the outside of their house and their address on their door posted in my video. So we're just going to take a look at some of the inside. <laughs> So final thoughts on the Scorp, I like it. I am very happy with it. Battery life is great, payload is great, functionality is great, the app works well, haven't had any problems with it, it's easy to balance, can lock all the axes, what's not to like? It's a gimbal and it's a well-made gimbal and I think Feutech is doing some really nice things over there and I'll leave some links down below if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. Make sure you subscribed if you are not already. Thank you guys for watching, thank you Feutech for sending over to Scorp and I'll see you guys next time, yeah!